Greetings YouTube, Simon here and welcome to another Final Fantasy VIII Remastered video. And at last the fans have stepped into the rescue and have actually updated the game using mods so that the remastered version of Final Fantasy VIII is truly worthy of that title. And today we are going to be focusing on one particular mod brought to us by Mekindus and it's going to change all of the menus in the game so that... I mean, to be honest with you, the original remastered menus aren't too bad. We do have this updated high crisp font, which looks pretty neat. But other than that, there's not really a whole lot of difference with, um, you know, the remastered game to the original game. There's no icons uh, of note or anything like that. So, with McKindus' mod, we will be able to change the menus from this to this. Whoa, look at the difference there. So not only do we get this awesome blue gradient background, which personally I think is pretty darn neat, but if you don't like that, you can disable it and still retain the grey background. I'll explain how once I go through the tutorial with you. Uh, but on top of that, you also get these awesome icons, such as Squall's sword here, uh, as well as the status icons, which you can see down in the bottom corners. Uh, and on top of that, we also have icons for the magics and pretty much everything else that has an icon in the game also. So I've got to say this looks really neat. I can see how hard the authors have worked on these mods So thank you so much for for that guys It's all paying off now as everybody can get a taste of it for themselves And as always folks a huge thank you to everybody who supports my channel as YouTube members or patrons But without any further ado, let's get in with uh, let's get on with the tutorial And I'm going to explain to you how you can set up the Final Fantasy 8 Remastered edition of the game to work with mods and today we're going to be starting with these menus. Let's go Okay, so in order to get started with our modding experience in Final Fantasy VIII Remastered, we need two downloads. The first is the mod itself, created by Mekindus. It's called Seed Remastered. I'll leave links to both of these downloads in the video description, of course. And at the moment, Seed Remastered mods the menus and the interface, although there's other things that Mekindus is working on for this mod, such as the fonts and the text and what have you. Now, once you've gone to the Kim forums here, you're going to head down to this link, Seed Remastered UI. Uh, this might change in time, depending when you're watching this video but go ahead select that and you'll be able to download the mob it's about 50 megabytes i believe uh, and then next up the second thing we're going to need is a little application called triple z d archive which has been given to us by sabanisu and this too is on the uh, kim forum so go ahead click this link here and that'll take you to the github website where you can download the zip file just here this next step is really, really important. Do not skip out on it. Head over to your Final Fantasy VIII Remastered install folder. So this is my address up here. You can see uh, possibly the only difference with yours if you've installed the default location will be that you, perhaps you're on the C drive rather than my E drive. Anyhow, once you've found the folder, you want to go ahead and find this particular file, main.triplez, and you want to make a backup of it. So copy it, create a new folder called backup or something, and then paste it in there, which is exactly what I've done. Now, if anything goes wrong during the modding process, this is the only file you should be fiddling with. You know, at the very least, you can always copy the original file uh, back over into the main directory, overwrite the one you've been modding, and the game will go back to the standard settings. So do not skip out on the backup stage. Right, so now we're going to move on to the actual modding process itself. But again, just to clarify, please have your main .triplez file, your original one, backed up safe. Okay, so we're going to go to the triplez d archive folder, make sure it's extracted, and open this program here, okay, triplez d archive.exe. Now you can see there's three options. We're going to select op option number three, merge. Now we're going to be told we need to paste the location to the original data. So that's the main.triplez file in our Final Fantasy VIII directory. Now you don't want to be typing that in. So head over to that directory that we've just backed up the file from. Look at the original file and then copy and paste first of all. Uh, or copy rather the directory from the Windows browser and then paste that in with control V and then just enter slash backslash main.triplez and then press enter and now we need to put the mod file in here next okay so we're going to head over to the seed read mastered folder that we downloaded uh, wherever that is i'll put it on my desktop doesn't matter and then once again we're going to copy the address paste that in and then go back 
and then we're going to right click on first of all this one here c-ui remastered underscore version one uh click rename control a control c that just gives us the full file name uh backslash and then control v to paste that in there so we've got the whole address to that file and then press enter then press enter again and this process can take a couple of minutes so just bear with it it's got a lot of files that it needs to copy and just merge and do all of the good stuff that it's doing i'm not very technical i'm not going to pretend i have a clue what's going on here i'm just going to let the program do its job and once it's done that uh, i'll leave it to work in the background if we head back over to the triple z d archive application uh, we already have these in and out folders for us the uh, file is going to be put for us over here into the out folder there it is and you can see it's a little bit bigger than the original main triple z file now uh, but what i'm going to do is actually create a new folder at this point uh, if we just go ahead and get the name of that file that we just merged uh, and i'm going to create a new folder and call it the same and i'm going to move the main that we just created into there and that's because we're going to repeat the process because there's actually two mods here and you can choose which one you want to use so by going through this process for both now you can swap and change later on uh, whenever you wish to do so so what i'm going to do now is repeat the process once more we're going to head over to our final fantasy 8 remastered game folder copy the address bar paste that in backslash main dot triple z and then put the new folder so the new directory thingy in uh, which is this one copy this is to the mod and then make sure we rename we're going to do the other one this time control c backslash control v and yes press enter once again this is going to take just a couple of minutes and i guess while that's doing uh, we'll just make sure we've got that name and if we head back over to the uh, out folder we can create a new folder with that so this is the file it's currently creating uh, we'll just wait for that to complete and then we're going to move this into this particular folder that we just created then we can choose whenever we want to use uh, one mod or the other so we'll just press escape at this point now that that's done and there it is so we'll cut that and paste it into there now right now th uh, neither of the mods are installed if we launch the game we'd still have the original menu interface but let's say for example we want to go ahead and use the high tech mod that we've just created and i've put it into this folder what we need to do is copy in fact just to keep things nicely organized before we do that i'm also going to create a folder here called original and we'll just put a copy of our original main.z in there so we always have all three of those together so we can use whichever one we choose whenever we play the game it's good to keep things organized when you're modding otherwise you'll end up getting yourself into a right kerfuffle trust me okay so let's go ahead and try the high tech mod that we've just created so we're going to copy that particular main file copy that into the game folder overwriting the original main file and now when we launch the game we should find that we actually have the uh, mod installed so let's go ahead and do that shall we and hopefully i haven't actually tested this myself yet so hopefully this is going to work uh, we've done everything we're supposed to do at this point so let's go ahead continue yes i can already see that the mod has set up look at that let's go ahead and load our save file now the other mod that we set up the other interface mod is pretty much the same as this but without the updated blue textures for the background so if you don't like that if you like the original gray then use the other mod that we created uh, but both of these will have uh, the new icons and everything else such as if we go to status here you can see all these new icons down the bottom uh, for abilities and status effects which look really cool in my view if we go to junction here you can see all of these new icons we've got this i actually like this blue background as well so this is the mod that i'll be using but just to clarify if you don't like this particular form of the mod then all you need to do once more is go back to the other one that we created uh which is where is it i'm getting myself into a bit of a mess here oh there it is if we go to the out folder go to the one that doesn't have high tech in copy that main folder that we created and we just need to go back now 
to our game folder and then overwrite the previous main. And now, once again, we'll launch the game. And you'll see this time we have the uh, less high-tech version of the same mod. So if you still like those grey backgrounds, then you can use those whilst also having the pretty cool updated visuals for the icons and what have you. Okay, so now if we go to status, for example, we've got those grey backgrounds, but with the updated icons, which, you know, is also a valid choice. Uh, definitely improvements over the original remastered menus. Alright then guys, well there's actually quite a few more mods available, but to keep things relatively less confusing, I'm only going to be focusing on Seed Remastered for this particular video guide. So if you want to see me install more mods and show you how to go through that process, then please do let me know in the comment section. There's a whole bunch of other graphical mods now available for the remastered version of the game as well. So I'm really looking forward to getting into those myself and I'm happy to share those with you as well. But as always guys, don't forget to thank the original authors of these mods that have put in all of this hard work. Um, you know, they've done a fantastic job. And as always, the fans seem to be picking up where Square have left off and I'm so grateful to them for doing so. Alright folks, well thanks for stopping by checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If it's helped you, don't forget to drop a like and stay subscribed to my YouTube channel if you want to check out all the Final Fantasy VIII content I've currently got there. Um, in fact, I've got a whole walkthrough guide which you guys might be interested in seeing. But that's it for me for today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>